Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Microsoft Purview extension for Chrome. I will just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I'm logged on to the portal. So before we begin, make sure that you are aware about the subscriptions and licensing. You should confirm your Microsoft 365 subscription and any add-ons to access and use the endpoint DLP functionality. You must have one of the following subscriptions. 365 E5, 365 A5 or 365 E5 compliance, 365 A5 compliance and other subscriptions. Your organization must be licensed for endpoint DLP. Your devices must be running Windows 10 build 1809 or later. The devices must have anti-malware client version 4.18.2202 or later. You should minimum have security reader or reports reader permission, but it would be good if you have security admin, compliance admin or global administ administrator permissions, right? Make sure that you have configured roles and roles groups. Minimum, you should have uh, information protection reader or information protection admin or investigators permission. Now, the overall installation the workflow, if you are planning, to install it on a large number of devices. You need to uh, prepare your devices and make sure that they have the Windows 10 or Windows 11 supported infrastructure and then basic setup single machine uh, self-host as well. Make sure that you are deploying it through Intune or you are deploying it through group policy by creating the profiles in the Intune. If you want to directly apply to from the from the Chrome Web Store, you know you'll have to go to you'll have to go to Chrome Web Store and you'll have to search the extension for Microsoft Purview extension. You need to add that to Chrome if you're installing it on only on your single device. Right? If you want to create a profile, then you need to do it via Intune and you need to configure a profile and then set the Google Chrome extension into that. And if you are on Intune.Microsoft.com, you need to click on go for profiles. Okay, if you don't know where you will see the config, uh, the profiles, how you create it. Oh, wait a sec. Right. So you need to go to intune.microsoft.com and when you are at home screen, you click on devices. Under devices, you go to manage devices and click on configuration. You'll see the profiles. I've created one. Now you click on create. Policy, select platform, Windows 10 and later. Policy type. Settings catalog. You click on create. You give it a name. Mm, you say Chrome. You say Purview. Chrome extension. This deploys Purview Chrome and you click on next. Select custom as the template name. Wait. No, no, no. Next here settings. You click on add settings. Click on configuration settings. Mm, this is a group. No, 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 no. Okay, now if, if you'll scroll in these settings, say Google. You'll see Google and you will Google Chrome and you click on extensions, extensions and if you'll scroll down here right under the settings name you'll have to click on configure the list of force installed apps and extension. Here it is, select it and here Now when you have selected that, you change the toggle to enabled and in here you mention the 
value for the extension and the app IDs and the updated URL. Let me see if I see that here, right? So, value and see more. Where do I find the value of the extension? I'll check the Microsoft documentation. I got that from the documentation. You do it here. You click on next. You click on add or edit scope tags to define the scope to deploy this profile. I'll not go with it. Right. Click on next. You need to add the required deployment users, devices and groups on the assignments tab. If you don't want to do that, you click on add all users, right? Or you can remove it. No groups, add selected. Click on add all users. This is a lab setting. So you need to check specifically when you're doing it for your prod environment. All right. Applicability rules are done. This is, these are the review settings. You click on create. Policy is created. I'll just refresh it. Here you see it. Chrome extension. You can do the same by using the group policy. Added the Chrome extension to the force install list by specifying the group policy. You need to test the extension and you need to upload you need to upload to cloud service or access by unallowed browse uh, cloud egress. You create or get a sensitive item and try to upload a file to one of your organization restrictive service domains and you will get an alert, right? And you can simulate other DLP scenarios in Chrome like copy data from a sensitive item to another document. Using the clipboard, you need to print that sensitive document. You need to copy that data to the USB removable media. You need to copy to network share. And then you can use the alerts management dashboard to view the Chrome DLP alerts. Okay. We can also view the Chrome DLP data in the activity explorer. So if you'll do that, right? So, uh, you come here and in here you We'll see that in the alerts as well, or you need to the, this is the data activity explorer. Whenever there will be alert, you will see what all sensitive info types you have, what are the sensitivity labels and what are the actions going on. All right. I hope this video was informative for all of you. If you still have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I would really want you to practice the same in your lab so that you get more hands on on it. And uh, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.